English social democracy is under threat. And it's under threat from two separate entities, Thatcherism and political correctness. But these both have a centrally, central root through the, through the ages. That is the will to control people, to dictate what they think and what they should feel. To create a system where people are merely atoms within a machine to be moved around and that in a machine-like mechanism to do the work of their masters. Well, political correctness can be used as a neutral term, right? although we all know what political correctness is. It, at present, it involves the ultra-feminism, ultra-globalism, ultra-multiculturalism, and it is a threat to the Western way of life, the European Union and the Western culture. Thatcherism is equally evil. It seeks to just destroy society and replace it with an atomistic anti-society where there is no family, there is no, there is no state, there is no, with no nationalised industries or national health service where everything is privatised into what, what would be a conservative anti-libertarian authoritarian uh, dictatorship it would destroy the nation in short Margaret Thatcher said there is no such thing as society and when she said it she meant it Thatcherites believe in this shit. They believe that there is no society. There is no such thing as a social being. We, and a social being is something I believe is the true nature of human beings. Altruis, altruism. The nation is a true part of being human. To subscribe to these things, we need to, we need to be kind towards our fellow human beings. Thatcherism and political correctness do not believe in such things. Political correctness, on the other hand, seeks to, dis to di dictate the terms into which we think, so it is impossible to escape. It is a prison without... Um, which you can't t see, you can't touch, you can't feel. But it's there, because they've got into your cerebrum and taking out the rationality. What is the root of all of this? Well, the root of it is psychoanalysis. And the, the three main groups that benefited from psychoanalysis, which was developed by Freud and his nephew, was the Nazis, the Soviets, and capitalists. But all three groups seek to... to create a system where people are forced very subtly to subscribe to a political correctness. Those three things are, of course, all different. And now Thatcherism loosely fits into capitalism because it believes that the market is the only real thing and that people do not matter. People can be pushed around. People are mere matter to be moulded by the market. In the same way, political correctness seeks to mould people through cultural Marxism, through ultra-feminism and through multiculturalism. That would, but multiculturalism has become positive discrimination against the Nordic, Celtic and Roman peoples of Europe and America is seeking to destroy our very existence as a people. And I am a social democrat. I hate Marxists, I am an English nationalist, and I hate Thatcherites, I hate royalists, right? Royal, the royal family, by the way, is something, are figureheads, and they do not run anything. But I disagree with the idea of inequality itself. I believe that there must be a balance between equality and freedom. And you must not have absolute equality or absolute freedom, but you must have a social progression. You must have a, a ladder 
for the, for the poor man to attain riches through his life and then to give that wealth back to his fellow people in form of taxation or inheritance. But why did Freud, a Jewish man, help the Nazis? Well, fundamentally, he believed that Nazism would be destroyed by cultural Marxism. But, of course, both, both are perversions of socialism. Nazi, National Socialism and cultural Marxism are perversions of socialism, just as Bin Laden is a, and the Saudis are perversions of Islam. There are extremes within every ideology, and Thatcherism is the extreme of capitalism. All extremes seek to enslave us. In my series, Written Constitutions versus Polit Political Pressure Groups, I set out why I believe this is so. That there is what the people want can be written down in a constitution which is every, where there is no secret knowledge, where everyone can read that constitution and know what the law is. Within the British constitution, that does not exist. That is why Thatcherism for us in Britain is especially dangerous. Right? And political correctness is especially dangerous because anyone can make their interpretation of the British Constitution and the unwritten part. And if we were not part of Europe, there would be no oversight of the British Constitution. That's why people like the BNP and the anti-fascist fascist groups out there are extremely dangerous because the BNP are Thatcherites in disguise and anti-fascism is, is political correctness in disguise. They're both seeking to mould what we think and feel and define, our, define ourselves as human beings, not as individuals or as part of a nation, state, which I believe in as a social democrat. Fundamentally, there is no difference between the to totalitarianism when you draw it down to its absolute fundamentals. What do the BNP and anti-fascists um, have in common? They both believe that, you, that the person is irrelevant, that there is a goal there at which people are expendable okay, to achieve their ends. And at the end of the day, they want to tell you how to think and how to feel. Whereas I want to tell you that you have a, a brain, you can subscribe to any philosophy you wish, as long as you use rationality and, and analyse what you're being told and how you can how to do it. If you don't believe in what I believe, that's fine. We can disagree with it on a rational basis and converse with each other. And through that, we have a, we've defeated both those forces because... Psychoanalysm is especially dangerous because it says that you can, yes, you can think about something, but you can take no action on it. And that is the root of political correctness. That you can imagine to do something, that you, but you do not act. Well, we saw in Egypt, and we saw in Tunisia, that people did act. That people did imagine a different possibility for their future. And they did act on it, and then they caused a revolution. Just as in 1989, they people saw that communism was not going to work and they chose a different possibility. That was a social democratic democracies throughout Eastern Europe. And now we have the EU. The EU, to some extent, does tell people what they should think and what they should feel. But it is better to have a written constitution with the EU, in my opinion, and my sole opinion is that the EU is good oversight to, our, to protect and allow us to assert our human rights, which are universal. People who have universal human rights, the right to life, liberty and pursuit of happiness, the right to property, the right to strike, because our labour belongs to us. It is our label, labour that produces everything that we see and do. Every table, every computer, everything that you see is either produced by man or nature. And that is why Thatcherites and multiculturalists and political correctness are frightened of the people. 
That's why they seek to control us.